Good morning. Our objective today is to solve problems involving both specific heat capacity and specific latent heat. So let's get right into an example. A 50 gram block of solid metal at negative 20 degrees Celsius is heated up until it melts and turns into liquid metal at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the specific latent heat of fusion of the metal if it takes 7,375 joules of thermal energy to undergo this transformation? Assume the metal changes phase at 0 degrees Celsius and use the specific capacities stated when they're both in solid and liquid form. So let's analyze this problem before we get to working. We have a piece of metal that is in its solid phase and its temperature rises. It then changes phase from solid to liquid and then while it is in liquid state, its temperature rises again. Please keep in mind that while it is changing phase from solid to liquid, its temperature does not rise. So this transformation has three parts to it. There is the rise in temperature when it is in metal. There is the change of phase from solid to liquid. And then there is another rise in temperature when it is now liquid metal. So identifying our givens, the mass is 50 grams, which is converted to 0 0.050 kilograms. The first change in temperature when it is in the solid phase is from negative 20 up to zero, so that is 20 degrees Celsius. The second change in phase is from zero up to 25 degrees Celsius, so that is 25 degrees Celsius. The heat energy used is 7,375 joules, and the specific heat capacities, we will state those as well. Our formula now is simply not one formula, but a combination of three formulae. MC delta theta for when it is in solid phase and the temperature is increasing. ML when it is changing phase from solid to liquid. And another MC delta theta when it is in liquid phase and the temperature is increasing also. So we substitute our values. We'll have the total heat energy, which is 7,275 is equal to 0 0.05 times 500 times 20 plus 0 0.05 times L plus 0 0.05 times 750 times 25. Simplifying, we'll have 7,275 is equal to 500 plus 0 0.05 times L plus 625. So 500 plus 625 is 1,125. We transpose that and subtract it from 7,275, and that will give us 6,250. So to find L, we'll take 6,250 and divide it by 0 0.05, and that gives us the specific latent heat of fusion for this particular metal to be 125,000 joules per kilogram. So, if you understood that, which I hope you did, please practice on this problem here. Don't be intimidated by this big number here. It's just another big number. You can easily cal calculate it, right? Plug it into your calculator. Practice on this problem and pause the video. When you're ready to continue, the solution will be shown in 3, 2, 1. If you liked this video, I think you should check out these other ones here as well at the top and at the bottom. Have a good day.